this is the way it looked Tuesday when the Jacksons flew into Birmingham Airport. Of course, the Jacksons were running at regular speed. About 200 screaming fans gathered outside their hotel to greet them. You didn't get to see him? No, we didn't get to see him. I think maybe, okay, someone came in the elevator and threw his hands up and then he went back in. Everybody was yelling and screaming and then he went back in. I believe that might have been him. The second day of the Jackson occupation was not quite as thrilling. Only a handful of diehard groupies showed up to stand watch outside the Civic Center and their hotel. But alas, they saw no Michael, no Tito, no Glitter Glove, and no Moonwalk. Now you tried to go upstairs? We did go upstairs. We got all the way to the 17th floor and then the cops caught us and made us come out and tell us we weren't welcome anymore. Why did the Jacksons decide to practice in Birmingham? Why would anybody it. come to Birmingham in June <laughs> if they didn't have a good reason? Well, as speculation has it, the Jacksons were looking for a stage big enough and a performing facility secure enough to rehearse their victory tour without a hassle. Tractor trailers line the parking lot, and the crew is estimated at 30. But who knows if that includes Michael's personal chefs and nutritionists. <laughs> What are you so great about Michael Jackson? He's beautiful. <laughs> He's the greatest dancer and singer and everything. Yeah. There is security everywhere in this town, and I mean everywhere. You're not a big fan. No, I'm not trying to put him down. I mean, I'm not putting him down. Just that, you know. He's not Hank Williams or Charlie Pride. <laughs> the fact that the Jacksons are only here to practice has a few people upset, even some of their most ardent supporters. They are disappointed, of course, that the group is not going to play a concert. In fact, they feel a bit cheated. I just don't think it's fair. It has me a little mad. I don't think it's right. But not everyone we talked with was willing to shell out $30 a ticket. You're not too excited. No, because I wouldn't pay that much money. What has he got besides money, besides the body? Yeah. What has he got? Tell me. As expected, those of us in the mass media were not able to see Michael, his brothers, or the stage. But that didn't stop us. Michael, come on, let us in. We drove all the way from Atlanta. We're WSB TV. Just, just one small picture. Listen, I have all of your albums, every one of them. I can, I can sing a little bit of Beat It for you. It's two and a half hours from Atlanta. We just, uh, we just want one picture of you, okay? Just a small picture of you on the stage. H how about just the stage, Michael? In Birmingham, Mark Hyman, Channel 2 News.